my OCM2 reveal. This is what What's going on fam, Elijah here back with another video. Today I'm gonna be once again sharing one of my favorite projects in the NFT space, which is OnChain Monkey. But before I do that, I need to address some pretty outrageous claims that were made by a content creator in the space. I don't wanna to get too deeply into it, and I also wanna say like everyone is entitled to their own opinion, that's completely fine. But when you attack my character and make extremely bold claims with no evidence to back it up, I think it's a pretty low move so I just need to say for the record, OnChain Monkey has never paid me a dime to make a video for them. If they had, I would have disclosed it just like I did for the Voxies partnership that I'm a part of. The first video I made on Voxies, I say, look, I'm really excited about this project and that is why I have decided to partner with them in a long-term vision of building together, which means they are compensating me for working together with them, right? I didn't shy away from sharing that with you. So the idea idea that suddenly I would decide to destroy my integrity and promote a project without sharing it to you is absolutely absurd. Guys, I have been extremely fortunate this year. I have made more money than I could have possibly imagined, and I am forever grateful for that. I wouldn't shortchange you for a quick buck. That's not who I am. And that being said, you should never buy an NFT project because I said it's good or someone else did. And you also shouldn't avoid NFT projects because one person says that it's bad. You need to be the decider of what makes sense to you. The reason I'm sharing about OnChain Monkey is because I'm genuinely passionate about it. My whole YouTube channel exists because I was passionate about Axie and I started making content, okay? If I didn't do that, then none of these videos about Axie would be here. So I'm simply doing what I do as a creator, which is making content around projects I wanna work with or that I'm interested in. So I'm not gonna pretend like it doesn't hurt when people are out there trying to slander my name and it feels like viewers are turning their back on me. I get it, there's a lot of shilling in the space, but I would hope that my track record by now would speak for itself. All I care about is bringing value. That is why I make all the Axie videos I make. You guys mean so much to me, and if for anyone who doesn't see that or doesn't believe me when I'm like sharing this, then that's fine. We can go our separate ways. And if you are like watching my content but don't care about the monkeys or you don't care about Voxies, just don't click the video. Like, please, you don't need to click it and throw a bunch of hate. I'm asking you very nicely. Have some heart and compassion for me. Like, I'm just out here trying to be a good content creator on YouTube. Okay, now that that's out of the way, I do need to quickly have OCM's back as well. Clear their name a little bit too, and maybe reiterate why I am so bullish on them. So to insinuate that OnChain Monkey is not a legitimate project is actually just really absurd. So I'm not gonna like go too deep into it because you can discover for yourself that some of their supporters are Charlie Lee, the creator of Litecoin, one of the most respected people in the space. Uh, a familiar name you guys might recognize, Jiho, Jeffrey Zerlin from Axie Infinity is a supporter as well. We've got some big names in Hollywood, Woody Harrelson. These guys have been passionate about climate change and being a positive impact on the world for years, and they're involved in OnChain Monkey. Baron Davis is an NBA all-star, so like this is just stacked with people. Owen Wilson, it goes on and on. Oh, and also uh, Roham, the CEO of Dap. Labs, which is a massive company in blockchain. They are responsible for MBA Top Shot, which is obviously a hugely successful project. So OCM supporters is stacked with industry leaders. If you think I'm a fool for investing, then you must think all of these people are a fool as well, which is fine, you're entitled to believe that, but to talk down on the project without doing your research or giving any valid reasons is just not okay in my opinion. And the core team, Bill Tai is a billionaire. He's one of the first to invest in Zoom. Amanda Terry is a legend in digital media. She was an executive at Twitter and Danny Yang, one of the most respected people in the space as well, founded MyKoi in Taiwan, which was one of the first and largest cryptocurrency exchanges. Whew, sorry guys, I just, I gotta vent. When people come at me, it's like, I gotta just say my piece, you know what I mean? I wanna say one more thing that I didn't mention in my first OCM video, which is that when they launched this, they did it for free. They gave away all their monkeys through community, through word of mouth, they announced it, 
the word spread and people were able to mint them at no cost. One of their first events was a huge charity auction, okay, where they raised money to help bring internet to schools globally. And the whole thing about this project that captivates me, okay, along with the fact that I think the monkeys look amazing, I love the both original version and the OCM2 versions, which I'm gonna get into in a minute, but they are trying to be a force for good in the NFT space. So OCM003 here is Danny Yang, the founder of the project. And someone had mentioned having like a community auction for a monkey. And what he said was that one of the features that they're working on with MetaGood, which is the parent company, is that you can put your OCM up for auction and specify some percent to go to a nonprofit. And you would get the donation credit for it too. And each OCM would have a record of how much good it has done so they can be tracked on a leaderboard. I mean, this is like amazing to me, the fact that they're trying to integrate ways for people to get excited about giving back. Great art is cool, great collections are cool, and I'm a big fan and passionate about the NFT space, but if you're not thinking about like giving back to the world and leaving it better than when you encountered it, then like what are you really doing anything for? It's the same with Axie. The reason I'm so passionate is not just because it's a great game, but because of all of the good things that it's doing as well. If it wasn't doing those things, I probably wouldn't be nearly as involved in it as I am. So let's get into some fun around the project before wrapping up and talk about some collections that are happening and why they're happening. And maybe I can provide some insight into some monkeys that you might be able to snipe at a really good deal. So here we have Charlie Lee's OpenSea. And as you can see, he is not very bullish on really any NFT projects except for on-chain monkey. I think this speaks volumes about the project because Charlie has been very skeptical of NFTs and not like a hyper bull as far as ETH goes. So he sees a lot of potential, obviously. He's got a a wide variety of naked monkeys, which are a niche part of the collection. There's a very finite supply where they don't have a hat or clothes or anything. Now, if they have an earring, that's called a tagged monkey. It's not a naked. It's not quite valued as highly as naked's right now, but it could be. There's actually even less tagged than there are naked. So that could develop over time. I mean, this thing here is absolutely insane. Can't believe he got this for 1.88. So this is a tagged alien monkey. I think there's only one of these in the entire project. So what I do is, you know, like, any NFT, I really try to discover like what are the traits and like why are they rare? What do they mean? So if I go to fur, we can see that this is the second most rare fur that you can get. The first most rare is gold. There's only 34 of those. And with aliens, there's only 75. Right now, the floor is 1.75 for an alien. Charlie is representing, he's got his on-chain monkey in his profile pic. This is another person in the space who has absolutely no reason to quote unquote shill a project. He's doing this because he's genuinely passionate about it, which is awesome. So now I'm gonna take a look at my collection and kind of break down why I chose some of the monkeys that I did. Since I made my last video, at the time I think I had invested $12,000 into OCM. I had a few monkeys and since then I've done more research, I've gotten more involved in the community and I upped my budget to right around $100,000. This is the most that I have put into any single NFT project, even with Axie. All of my investments in Axie came a year ago when I had a lot less money. Uh, so I put what I could into Axie at the time. That's done very nicely. I'm grateful for it. But this is like my first big, all right, here's a hundred grand. Let's do this and see what we can build. And I have no regrets. I mean, I love what I'm doing here. I love my collection. It goes without saying, I love the project, vision, team, everything. The Discord is so positive, it's so supportive. You guys can check that out if you're interested. There'll be a link in the description. But real quick, let's talk about some of these. This really complicated chart are the meta traits. This is breaking down stuff that you're not gonna find on rarity tools. So with rarity tools, what you can do is go in there and search a project and let's just say I want to take my alien right that I bought recently and see how rare it actually is I can take the ID of this search for it under on chain monkey it's the 263rd most rare monkey okay that's according to its fur and its hat its mouth everything so I use this a lot 
Now there's some other things that go under the radar that aren't really accounted for on rarity tools just yet. One example would be this guy that I picked up for 0.8 Ethereum a few days ago. Now, can you notice what might be special about this monkey? It has matching hat and shirt. Now, if you go through and look at all the monkeys that are out for sale, this is not something that you see very often where it matches perfectly like this, both the trim and the pocket. So this is just called a classic matching set where the small pocket matches the small trim and the larger part of the shirt matches the larger part of the hat. If I search for this, there it is right there, it popped up under clothes and hat matches. You can see here at the top that there's only 162 monkeys that have a color match, which is what I just described. For 0.8 Ethereum, I thought that was quite a good deal and decided to pick it up, especially as I know that like the community really values these. I see the, the nuances of on-chain monkeys being appreciated more and more over time. So something like this could be even way more valuable down the road in my opinion. But perhaps an even better example of like a deal snipe was getting this monkey here for what did I pay? This was 0.44 Ethereum. And that's an absolute steal in my book, considering that's basically the floor cost for a monkey right now. And as we see, not only is this matching, it's reverse matching. And just to make that clear, the small pocket doesn't match the small trim. It actually matches the larger part of the hat and like vice versa. So it's like a flipped match, a reverse match, right? Which is to me equally cool as a color match. The only difference really is that there's less of them. As you can see here, reverse color match, there's only 75, regular color match 162. Right now, none of this shows up on Rarity Tools, but it's a way for you to go look at the floor monkeys and keep your eyes peeled. And then you can also use this uh, document to double check, make sure like, oh, is this actually a color match? Copy the number, come over here, paste it, see if it shows up. And you might be surprised because all these monkeys were minted again for free. So there's probably some people who are waking up going, okay, I minted five monkeys. I don't really want to hold them. I'm going to sell them and not pick up on this. So they could list this for a floor when really it's worth a lot more than that. Wrapping up this video, it's time to talk about my pride and joy. This is Frosty, AKA the Porcelain Prince. Yeah, let's talk about it. So if we go to Rarity Tools, we'll see that this guy here is a top 100 monkey, which I had to get one. I mean, I'm so passionate about the project. It's early. I'm like, let me get one of these now while I can. And so what makes it particularly rare is the diamond earring, which is the rarest earring that you can have. And the hat, which is also the rarest hat that you can have. On top of that, uh, it's naked with a hat, which isn't as rare as naked or tags by any means, but who knows, maybe there'll be a little extra juice behind those in the future. And I think it looks insanely cool. The white, the brown skin color with matching eyes and mouth and the silver background. I mean, oh, I fell in love with it when I first saw it and took a day or two to talk myself into it. I paid 3.5 ETH for it, which I think was still a really good deal for a top 100 monkey. You'd have a hard time finding one at that price point these days. If we look at the diamond earrings, we can see that the floor for those is 1.78. So already that is rising quite quickly. And for the grand finale, I'd like to show you my OCM2 reveal. This is what Frosty is going to look like when they do the OCM2 airdrop to everyone who is holding an OCM monkey before the end of December, I believe. So if you're in now, you're guaranteed to get airdrop a version of your monkey that is gonna be done over or made over kind of similar to this, but depending on the traits that you have. I don't even know what to say. This thing is insane. They released it yesterday. We can already see that they're paying extra close attention to the rarest of traits. For instance, the rarest hat, they've actually turned it into a crown which is nuts. The diamond earring looks amazing. It is balling out of control. And they even did like this porcelain finish on the skin. I think this is fur 11 that I have for this monkey. I was blown away. I'm super grateful to be part of this community. I was selected by the community as someone to get an early reveal on the OCM2 version, which I was honored to be included in. And so wrapping up around OCM2, you will get airdropped one for one on 20 monkeys that you hold in any particular wallet. The only thing required to get that before the end of December is you need to kind of be active in the discord. Okay. You can go in there and you earn bananas for free just simply by showing up. Essentially, if you join, you can learn more about how that happens. If you don't get hundred bananas, you're still going to get airdropped one for one on your monkey. It's just going to happen in September of 2022, a year from the day that the project was released. So you just have to wait a little bit longer if that's the case. So I'm rocking him in my profile picture. Now I imagine a lot 
lot of people will probably do the same once the drop happens. I think on that note, I'll wrap this video up. I just want to say thanks to all my supporters. You guys mean the world to me. I'm always going to be transparent with you. I'm always going to tell you what's going on with my videos or any projects that I work with. I hope it would be clear by now that I'm extremely selective about what I make content on. I've literally only made it on three projects since I started my YouTube channel, Axie, Onchain Monkey, and Voxy. Yeah, you guys mean so much to me. Uh, thank you for the support. If you don't like monkeys, if you don't like Voxies, just don't watch the video, skip it. Keep keep looking out for Axie content. There's going to be tons of it on my channel and there's links in the description if you wanna learn more about on-chain monkeys. So that's it for this one. You guys are the best. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.